Hi, everyone. My name is John. <laughs> and my name is Mike. And I'm Bryce. And welcome to the Jedi Archives. Today, we're going to go over issue number 10 of the Star Wars High Republic Adventures. Probably not going to see it because it's being blacked out, but you get to cover on the screen later. But yeah, so uh, let's just get right into this. What are everyone's thoughts about it so, real quick? Everyone read it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, I read it actually about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved it. I thought it was really cool because it focuses on Court. He's one of my favorite characters. So, yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. The art, the art's definitely uh, different, but I still love the story. I, I love that we get into Cork and we really flesh him out because he was kind of the forgotten character from a lot of this uh, run. So I'm glad we're getting into it a lot. Yeah, because he was always like a little background character, not a main one, and we didn't yeah. know much about him. So, yeah, we just know him and uh, Barzola were are are pretty close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is issue ten. Here we are on uh, League of Comic Geeks, which is one of my favorite sites, and we see the original cover. And let's look at the variant cover. Oh, what do you guys think about this cover? Uh, when I, because I buy mine like at months at a time, kind of, or, like I buy a couple of months at a time, actually, when I go and I get like several and I got this cover, I'm like, what just happened to his face? <laughs> I didn't right. read it much in front of it. So I'm like, what's going on? And then uh, as you're reading, you, you find out that uh, his species, when they're younger, they, as coming of age, they put on the skull of uh, this crab monster they have to slay or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I figured out. But at first, I was like, "What is going on here?" So it was really interesting. Yeah, I like it. At first, I was really sad because I know how much that mask means to him. Yes. So when I saw it, I was like, "Oh no, his, you know, his skull mask that grounds him and keeps him," and it reminded me of um, uh, Firefly. You know how. That girl just goes crazy. Yeah. And so I thought, oh no, his mask is gone. He's just going to go berserk like a. Uh, oh, like a weapon. yeah. I, I know who you're talking yeah, about now. It's it. That but, girl. I remember yeah. it. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> be careful. Wild on them. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the, the Reavers, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'd be pretty cool if we just did that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I liked it. Pretty cool. Nice muted colors. You know, it looks all ominous and very, very similar um, color scheme to the previous issue where we see him, you know, jumping through the air with his lightsaber. Mm -hmm. And then we have the, I think we have a variant cover. Yeah, we do. Yep. That is like so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So those are the R1 covers. Anyone, those are... The retail incentive, that's what yeah, it stands for. They buy for. like 10 bucks, they get it. Yeah, something like that. So that's really cool. Yeah, yeah I like that. This reminds me of uh, like children's books, preschool children's books. Yeah, I was going to say the golden books. Almost the yes, golden it does uh -huh, a lot. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect way to describe it, John. Yeah, a very yeah. Gold, golden book type illustration. And I love the colors. It just looks like so appealing to children. You know, younger children be like, oh, I want to look at this. So yeah. the, the drawings are soft. You know, it's glowing. I really like it a lot. And those little... Those, just on. He's just walking through the forest and he got with his saber on, just on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he looks so happy. Look at his little yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> and then Yoda. Yoda looks so spry. Uh, I like this cover a lot. Definitely so far one of my favorite styles. It's definitely unique. I don't know if I can read a whole book like that. It seemed very juvenile, but as a cover, it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is a great cover. And so now let's switch over to League of Comic Geeks. Oh, wait, I'm on it. Close this. And it says, Back Together and Away Again, Part 3. Chaos at Takodana. The Padawans must once again face the Nile after they attack the Jedi Temple. Overwhelmed and outnumbered, the heroes are backed into a corner until an unlikely Padawan among them unmasks their full potential and saves the day. 
da, 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 da. Um, I wonder who it is. These are the characters. I don't know who Barine Krill is. I know Lula. It's, it's Sabata's sister. Oh, okay. So they're, then, they're the two that were defected from the Nile, but we know, you know, obviously oh, in the previous right. issue that they were the saboteurs. That's right. That's right. And then we have Ram, Jamaram, Yoda, Verzala, Maz, Sabata, Zine, Crix, Quart, and Sav, Malagan. So, they don't have the images in for some of those people. They're in the comic. I don't know why they haven't added them. You, maybe you can I know. points. I know. I should, right? I don't know if you can add pictures, but Ram should be in there because he's been in multiple issues. Yeah, it's kind of Ram, Ram's like on the first or first yeah. or second page. Yeah. And then I like that we see Maz, and I was thinking Maz, she's kind of like one of those, like the people from the Church of the Force, right? That's what I'm thinking. She's not because she has some force sensitivity. That's exactly. Yeah, she's right. very force sensitive. Yeah. Well, the what are they called? The whales or something like that. The guardians of a whale. Yeah. Kind of that's like in I, like in Rogue Rogue One, right? Yeah. Like Chirut and yeah. maybe she can kind of like them. Force, but she does, it doesn't have enough to control it. Something like that. She knows she can mm-hmm. feel that it's there. Trust that it's there. Faith that's there, but just can't yes. really wield it. But yeah. Like very in tune with the force, right? Yeah. yeah. So then let's go to the issue. Share. And hopefully this looks okay because it's no longer on Comixology. Comixology was absorbed by Amazon, which transferred everything over to Kindle. So I have to watch it on my Kindle app now. So here we have the cover. Comixology, that website doesn't exist. It just forwards it It, to Kindle. Yeah, it forwards you to Amazon. And then to watch anything on Amazon, I have to use the Kindle app because their books are on Kindle. So I downloaded that app to my computer. I'm able to view it here. Although the Comixology app still works on the phone and on devices, just not on the computer. So here's our main cover. Let me go inside, and I just read that from uh, the League of Comic Geeks, the intro. And then we have these two little panels. It says Back Together and Away, part three. So we see Quart on the left little panel, looking sad, because they did, they've just been attacked by the Nile on Takodana. Yeah. So the Nile just attacked uh, the Jedi Temple, right? Yes. Yes. That's what we saw last. Like- across from uh, Maz Kanata's castle. Did we get the reveal of how he looks without his mask in the last episode, or is it this one? I get all my comics confused. I think it's this, oh, this one. one. It's this right, one. We'll talk about it when we get to it. Then. Oh, yeah. So here's a little flashback on the Jedi Temple at Takadana. When, remember, they first discovered Court, he was left there, abandoned in a little box. And, yeah. and we found out that he was male, because yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was the Jedi's name again I can I can't remember Sav Sav this is yeah. Sav right and so yeah. Sav has that that big hat and Sav Sav is like an older Jedi right yeah. yes so I think she's the only one on the her t- uh t- the Jedi temple there and mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sure she's friends with Maz because she's pretty much the only one on the other side of the lake so yeah so. right and you can see Maz peeking in down there. Uh, that's how that's... they pretty much get to dual co-raise Quark. <laughs> yes, co-parenting. Yeah. <laughs> so Quark's using his little Jedi forces. You know, he's very powerful in the force. He's so young. He's He reminds you a little bit of Baby Yoda, you know, Grogu. Mm-hmm. When yeah. when they were training him when... Uh, when uh, oh my gosh, Ahsoka was trying to train him to move the little ball. Uh, yeah, for the rock. So here, Quartz pretty good. I and thought. Then he's like, I saw it the other way. I thought she was throwing food at him. <laughs> I don't know. You're oh. <laughs> like a little pet. <laughs> here, grab this treat. <laughs> no, I think it's the forest, right? I yeah, think yeah. He's got his hand up. His eyes are closed. I think his eyes are closed. It's hard to tell, but yeah, it's a. Uh, 
She's not just tossing food at him. He's doing the, the magic hand thing. See his yeah. little hand? He's waving his little hand. Tossing her scraps at him. <laughs> and then uh, Sav walks in. I mean, uh, Maz. Maz walks in and says, hey, Sav, Yoda's here. Because Court is a handful. And so then they're deciding he's too much for us. We need, a, we need to ship him off to Master Yoda, who trains all the younglings. Because Yoda's the one who trains the younglings. Mm-hmm. Yoda shows up and we see how tiny Court is. He's so cute. I like these pages because it takes me back to uh, The Force Awakens with all the greenery and yep. yes. yeah, I really like these. It's very connected. Yeah. It I made me feel a little much green in the entire galaxy. I believe <laughs> is what Ray says. Yeah, she just hasn't been to California. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this actually made me sad. You know, when I saw this because there's a, a bond between Sav and Quart. And, you know, Quart's a little abandoned baby. And yeah. finally, he's connecting to Sav and already he has to leave. And I'm thinking that's right. got to be hard for the little baby. And we don't know how old he is, actually, but he looks right. like a baby. Yeah, he's definitely young. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, you know, Sav reminds him, don't dismember anybody. Because you know? <laughs> he's quite active and there he's looking back kind of like Anakin when he looks back at his mom leaving Tatooine but yeah. he's taking Yoda's hand and then Maz and Sabra waving goodbye I like this picture yeah like you said a little, it could be a little heartbreaking mm-hmm. and then we flash forward to the present time yep. which is they're under attack and they've just been like bombed air raid and we well, see the Padawans. Uh, the one Nihil did like a suicide bombing, right? And blew up, uh, had a bunch of bombs placed amongst the temple. Right, right. They blew, that's right. Yeah. Blew everything up. And the Padawans are like, oh, what's going on? And there's, we see Ram there. And we see that Zine. Yep. He's actually taking a nap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Luna, is that... and Sav. Mm-hmm. Maz is right there. And then, oh no, we see the crushed mask on the floor. So yeah. this has got to be from Court's point of view. Mm-hmm. And he's looking at his little mask. And the one thing that when he left, Sav had told him when he was training him, you know what, the mask, you'll know when it's time for the mask to be gone. You'll know. Yeah. So he's looking at his crushed mask and he's speaking his Court language. He tries to put it back on, but it's destroyed. Just doesn't fit. And then you see the Nile it's coming and attacking yeah. Air Raid. Yeah. Like, let's finish off the survivors. They're zooming in. He's looking through his little mask. He sees all the destruction. All his friends are getting hurt. They're under attack. So Quartz, like, looking through his little mask, his broken mask. Yeah, this scene is pretty cool right here. This is like we're talking about the coming moment. It, moment, like, everybody's like, it'd be very theatrical right now. This scene, these next two pages, yes, are very cool. Because you can tell he's remembering his training with yeah. with Sav, and he says, "You'll know when you're ready." Well, they're really we'll smart uh, to the small windows. It builds up, and it's just really different from the rest. So it's like this is supposed to be a moment here. So it's really cool. And I love how he just reaches out his hand. And you see his lightsaber flying to his hand. And he grabs it. And his hilt is really cool. It is. It is. Let's take a look at it. Like it actually looks like it has like a wood grain to it. Very simple, very simplistic, but very, very cool. Yeah, Yeah, it's just a wood cylinder with like a gray line in the middle. And you can see some grain. A little button, Mm -hmm. some little metallic end, end caps. Then he light ignites it and he says, I am ready. These are the first words we hear him say. Oh, well, read by that. Basic. First, yes. Yeah. yeah. First basic cool. that he speaks. And then boom, the reveal. And I was like, wow, he looks much older than this big right. picture. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's not naked no more. Yeah. <laughs> And he just shoots up through the forest. I'm like, wow, this is the part where I thought he's just going to go off. 
because he has no mask. He, he does. Sh- yeah, he goes straight up, slices into that Nile ship, mm-hmm. kind of like how Luke was slicing into that Adat. Remember? Yeah. Okay. On Hoth. And he's like, "Whoa, what's going on?" Bam, 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 bam. Start shooting at him. So, gah. And they're like, what's going on? Like, oh, let's shoot him down, probably. You know, Niall don't care about each other. Right, exactly. And yeah, he comes he just, in. Uh, pretty much did what Sav did first time we met, met, met her. Uh, yeah. Just opens up mm-hmm. the man. It's just, it's a, it's his trigger. It's his, what is that character's name from Firefly? I know her, her act, the actress's name is Summer. I can't remember her name, but it's that, it's that. It's that character, Yes. It just goes, it snaps at that moment and it's it's done. It's you're not gonna stop her. Yeah, That's she goes there. crazy. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So they're going like, let's take down that ship because of course Quartz is taking over and they want to get rid of him, but they sure can't because he starts jumping around like like Yoda in uh episode yeah. what was it, episode three? Two, two. two and two, right? When he's fighting yeah. Dooku. Yeah, he's like bouncing off like crazy, like whoa! So that's how I meant to. Because he does the same thing with Emperor or Palpatine, so we've got to go on either way on that. But I was thinking of two when he's fighting okay. Dooku. Yeah, because that's the first time we see Yoda really in action. Yeah, yeah. that's how I imagine this. This is so dynamic. You see all the swoosh lines. You know, he's the plane's going to crash, or that vehicle's going to crash, and he's still like swooping all over it, jumping from one ship to another. Look at him! It's just like. He's so fast, you see his feet in that bottom panel, but yeah. he's already down there. He's like, he's super fast. He's not messing around. No, he's not. And he's throwing them, he's getting rid of all of them. Yeah. It's also he's not kicking. holding back. That that's the Jedi, a lot of their sometimes their weaknesses, they hold back because they're trying to preserve life and they they try to defend and stop like that. Sometimes you see, but he's just like he's unhinged right now. So he's not holding back. He's and he's just yeah. Although I think I don't think he's killing them. He's just like pushing them into the lake. So he's disabling them more than, than killing them. So that's what yeah. I thought. So he's still preserving the Jedi way. But just right making right. sure to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then they you you see Sav and Maz, who are his uh co-parenters at the beginning, mm-hmm. and they see him all grown up. And they're like, look. Kid takes after the weird force sensitive old lady that found him. And she's Maz is like, which one? And Sava right. like both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so so cute. Proud parents. Oh, her little tear. Sava's so proud of Court. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. And then we go on. And yeah. Court is getting down to business, tearing apart all those ships protecting Takadana and see the, the he's not really killing those Nile. Right. He's letting them escape, but making sure that they don't cause any harm. You know, and Maz and Sav are so proud. So it would just be such an epic scene to watch in live action because you just it's right. great yeah. comics and panels, but he's there. He's there. He's there. You'd actually see the motion with the at this or even yeah, I keep imagining all this, you know. In yeah. my mind, I'm like, oh, I, I would like to see it like an animation, a cartoon would be really cool. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, it reminds you of the um, Ahsoka when they're getting ready to land on uh, Mandalore. Oh yeah. yes, that too. Yep, very good. I like that scene too. When she lands and there's the flames behind her. Right, but she does a lot of same thing. She doesn't kill any of the Mandalorians or anything. She like slices right. the jetpacks or disables the ship and like you're, you're on your own at that point right because the jedi believe that they don't want to kill them because that person can always change you know and and kind of like in uh remember it, i don't know if you guys watched um the peacemaker how the the leader of the team was actually one of the butterflies and he had taken over ruined it no i've seen it oops sorry <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen it well, anyway, he, what he says is that even though he took over that person, that person could have still changed. Even though that person was like the worst of the worst, yeah, they're like they still could feel that that person could have changed to become good. So I think the Jedi believe that that everyone can always have the option to change yeah. the free will. So pretty much is destroyed. It's the aftermath now, and they're all like, "What's going on?" They're picking up the pieces. 
Let me see our Jedi friends there. And here comes Court. He was like the master in this one. And they're like, whoa, Court, your face. And it's yeah. like, ah, uh, little Court language, hi, or ha. Yeah. <laughs> little Court language, and then my, he's starting to speak basic. Yeah. And they're all shocked. Look at their eyes. Look yeah. at Lula's eyes. She's like, what? They've never seen him without his mask. Mm-hmm. God, they this look is so my old friend. too. Yeah, they look all grown. Yeah. I like it. And they're all hugging. Oh, I love this scene. It's heartwarming. Mm -hmm. And what we can tell is that his species doesn't um get very big. As you can see, his size compared to you know, even Lula and uh, uh Farzala, Ram. Mm -hmm. I still find Rams young. And then we switch over to the Nile. We have here the Crick, camera right? rat, Crick's camera rat. Yep. And he's looking older too. Yeah. What are they like teenage years now? Like, yeah, late teen. yeah. And he's plotting because they have that. This still also ties into the books because they talk, they mentioned some things about what they're planning, right? Yeah. So, uh, I never the never remember them mentioning Cricks in the books, but they are like, making the plans for the books. Right. They didn't mention yeah. him, but this mentions the plans of what's going on, like in, mm -hmm. in uh, Starlight Beacon and also on uh Cor on not Coruscant, on uh Corellia. Corellia. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah. So it was really cool for me when I read it the first time, I didn't get it, but after I finished the book and I came back to reread it this morning, I'm like, oh hey, this is totally referencing what's gonna happen in the books. So I love that connection again. I love all those connections. Is Crix a cloud? We think he's a, cl a cloud, right? Cloud's the second from the bottom. Because a strike is the lowest level? Yeah, and the clouds... The I think he's a cloud. He's a the cloud because he's... Storm, then Tempest, then the eye. I? Yeah. I think, I think so, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think he is a cloud because he's commanding these others on what they need to yeah. be doing. And he's sitting in that throne-like chair. Yeah. And he tells her, hey, he tells Savada, oh, because she was one of the ones that uh, she betrayed on Takadana. Yeah, yeah and, and I think it was a, a few pages back when um, they were all coming out of the, the rubble. Um, her sister is in that, is in that uh, particular. Yeah, the helping her up from the ground panel yeah right there. oh there the purple one the purple yeah yeah that's her sister who we come to find out wasn't strong enough to be a true nile that's why sabata let left her, her just yeah left her mm -hmm. abandoned her because that's the nile way and then it's the ending to be continued yep so yeah, Thoughts? great issue. Uh, super happy we're fleshing out uh, Cork. I hope they stick with it and they don't just like, okay, we we handled the Cork thing and that's it. But I want to see more of them going forward. I know we don't have that many more issues, so I don't know what the plan is going forward. But I do hope we get more some more Cork. I do too. I hope we get some more in the books. These characters show up a lot more in the books than in other other media. Yeah. Because I really like these characters. That I've gotten really close to them. Um, I think I've enjoyed the comics more so than the books. The books are great because they're much larger tale, but I love the comics. And I'd hate for them to just go away after this. Well, I think if we do, it, we're, we kind of thought it's going to be phase three, right? This is going to be kind of more like you know, the original trilogy was phase yeah, one. Yeah, phase exactly two, how they have it set up. Films, and then we're going to go back and finish yeah. up the story. Yeah, right. Well, too far back because they're only, I think they said it's only like not even 200 years before. Yeah, current. I think it's 150. Yeah. 150 years prior to the so events. I think we're going to take, Republic. I would like to take out right after this so we can write up and finish up these stories, but who knows? So, mm -hmm. yeah, because the, yeah, the phase two will be pre, pre Stellan, pre Avar. I could, Yoda will be in it, though, I believe, right? I think it's I think Yoda it's, will. 
Yeah. Him yeah. and a couple of the Jedi Jedi Masters um, are about the only links that we'll have. And we'll probably see a young Yoda that's not a Grandmaster too. Yeah, he's like already I caught my kind of caught me off guard when we first introduced him in these series. He's already this Grand Master. They they talk about him like he's already this mythical Jedi. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, well, he's already at that point. So we get to maybe see it a little bit before or how he gets to become. Be great, man. See him as like a Jedi Knight, just on missions with the other Jedi, opening a can. That, that would be cool. That would yeah. be cool. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen because he's so old. I think yeah, those well, are his know. never know. I think I think those are like his younger hundreds, you know, like when he was two, three, <laughs> four hundred years old, not right. six or seven hundred years old. I want to see what we just saw for Quark for Yoda. I want to see Yoda's moment. I, I, I do too. Yeah. Me too. I want to see when they find him, when, you know, when all that happens, when he gets discovered, how they take him as a youngling and, uh, you know. Yeah, and we don't we don't even know, like, I mean, obviously there's going to be a whole list of new new characters and stuff, and then with Quest of the Jedi, who who, you know, who are we going to be learning about and you know what is this quest of the jedi like obviously you know we're seeing them at their at their peak and then the descent this is are we going to see the rise at this point like you know so it'd be, mm-hmm. it'd be very very cool to see what they're going to do yeah i definitely want to see the rise for sure you know the, how it builds up I like it a lot all right guys so if you guys liked and if you guys like this episode, please like and subscribe. We have a whole bunch of these uh, reviews on our YouTube channel, Virtual Cantina. Uh, we have a ton of other footage on there too. Please like and subscribe and get up to date with all that other stuff. And as always, join us on our Facebook group page for Star Wars Celebration Anaheim 2022, um, where all of us meet regularly on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays for our Virtual Cantina Happy Hour. And then Thursdays for our watch alongs. And uh, yeah, like Jonathan said, like and subscribe to our page. Don't miss our reviews. We love having you. Right. you plug, plug your page. Yeah, I was going to say, if you know, if you guys want to get that extended Star Wars experience, always check out, you know, Star Wars Book Nerds, um, which is run by Lakota Schultz, who are unfortunately going to be with us today. Um, and then check out the Star Wars comic book group uh, on Facebook. I uh, would be happy to have you where we solely focus on comics. So check it out. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. May the force be with you. Force be with May the force be with you.